Let's now take you to an exhibition that offers a glimpse into Indian cinema's bygone era through an exclusive set of digital photographs from the collection of German cinematographer Joseph Wersching. Wersching contributed extensively to Indian cinema right from 1925. He was associated with the iconic Bombay Talkies studio. So here is presenting some original photographs and digital footprints from the Wersching archive. Art Heritage presented an exhibition of cinema archives of the noted German cinematographer Joseph Wersching in the national capital recently. Organized as a part of the India Art Fair, the exhibition was curated by Art Heritage Director Amal Alana. Bringing alive Indian movie history through an exclusive set of digital photographs from the collection of German lensman Joseph Wersching. Joseph Wersching's association with India initially started in 1925 while working as a cinematographer on the light of Asia for Emelka Film Studio, which was produced by Himan Churai. Thereafter, he settled in India, went on to work in over 20 films with Bombay Talkie Studio, which was set up in 1934 by Himanshu Rai and along with his wife and actor Devika Rani. Joseph Wersching was a cinematographer who came to India from Germany, uh, invited here by Himanshu Rai and Devika Rani in 1934 as they started the Bombay Talkies Film Studio. The film studio was one of the first studios in India um, which was really made uh, movie making a science. And so Bombay Talkies as a movie studio was not only a studio but also a training institute. So it trained technicians for sound design, lighting design, uh, as well as actors such as Ashok Kumar. From 1934 onwards, Joseph, along with his team of technical experts, produced many successful films one after another. The historic Bombay studio launched many stars such as Devika Rani herself, Ashok Kumar, Meena Kumari and Dilip Kumar. The exhibition offered a peek into Indian cinema's bygone era and Bombay Talkies films which introduced many socially and politically relevant themes like the forbidden love between a couple from different casters in film Achyut Kanya and the struggles of the modern young woman to succeed in film Nirmala. What the Joseph Wersching collection captures in a brilliant way um, is two aspects of movie making. One is in front of the camera, which is what, is what we all see, the movie stars and the glamour and so on. Uh, but what the collection also has is photographs of movie making. Uh, the, how was it that the technicians came together when they went on location? What did the shoot look like? Um, and so it's a wonderful look at movie making as a whole. One of the photographs on display featuring Devika Rani and Najmal Hussain in a publicity still for Bombay Talkies' debut feature film, Jawani Ki Hawa, refreshed the memories of black and white Bollywood films. while another photograph featured actor Helen dancing in a popular song from Hindi classic Dil Apna or Preet Parai. It's a treat, it's really a treat to see these kind of films and also to observe uh, the kind of pretty fine, though in one of the pictures they're like trundling the cameras, so it's a very old technique. But still, they seem to have captured everything that needed to be captured. And I think the fine uh, acting of both the male and the female uh, um, persona in films was excellent. And uh, as I said, social themes, you know, like um, uh, looking f out for the dancing girls and saying that they are not um, taken into society. 
The archive from the Wershing collection spans from his time at MLK Film, Bombay Talkies, AMA Limited and Kamal Pictures and provides a glimpse into the early years of Indian cinema and filmmaking. Capturing some rare and beautiful behind the scenes shots of the movies back in the 30s. Indeed, the show was a joy to behold for movie buffs. Vandana Kumari's report for Raj Sabha TV. These photographs taken by Joseph Vershing between 1920s and 1960s showcased behind the scenes images of the cast and crew, production, as well as publicity images. They also threw light on the aesthetic decisions, creative communities, and also the cross cultural exchanges that were central to filmmaking in India then. The exhibition indeed was a rich tribute to the pioneer of Indian cinema.